I want you to know I'm not like other YouTubers, you know, um, that allow their their comment section to become extremely toxic, where there's just very a lot of negativity oh. going and flowing in the comment section. I'm not like that. Okay, I'm not like that at all. You will get blocked. Okay, you'll have to create. You will end up having to create multiple channel YouTube channels when it comes to me. What's up, Waxy Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Hello. Today, you guys, we got a huge homemade Philly cheesesteak. Uh. And yes, you guys, I did show you guys how to make this. So that's what we have here. And yeah. um, we all and I also I made it out of tomahawk. It's tomahawk steak. And then I have some uh some apple cider vinegar uh chips. kettle cooked chips that I get from Whole Foods. And then who brought this? My mom. Mom brought this. My mom brought us this the other day, and so we want we thought it would be a cute yeah. addition. And then I also have over here on the side, I got me some wine because I'm feeling like having a glass of wine today. The kids are on the side because they want to eat dinner as well. Mama was supposed to be in this video, but she just got off of work. So she's just going to come and probably grab something to eat. So we'll make sure we save her. We got to save her some. Right. Put her something to the side. But we do have extra meat in the kitchen. So, you know, she'll have some. Um, and then I have mines over here because I didn't want the, it's the same thing. I just got a lavash wrap because I didn't want the bread. So I, mine is crispy. I put it in the air fryer. I put the same meat in mine, rolled it up, put cheese in it, roll it up, and put it in the in the okay. air fryer because I didn't want that bread. This bread is lower in calorie, and so that's why I have it. And then I got some sauce, some extra sauce that I made. It's something I made up just to go on them in the kitchen. So this is Waxing with Donisha and the family, and we ain't came to play. We be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you're new, here's subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer Waxer Squad. All right, Isabel, you want to say grace? Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this food. The Lord Jesus, amen. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started, babe. So, first of all, who wants some of this? I do. Okay, let's pass this to Isabel. Elijah, you got to get some, too? Give us Let me see your plate, Elijah. Okay. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, my God. It's really juicy. Look at that. Oh my god. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. It's for Elijah. Give us some. I want to taste it. Mm. Yeah. Elijah, let me see if I. Okay. Alright. Here, babe. You're going to have to pick the hole. Just pick it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing that. Oh, the. Okay. You want to try it, Isabel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She ain't going to eat all that. Ain't no way. Maybe give her give her half of that now. Yeah. Yeah, now give her half of that. Everything's full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put that off your on your plate. Yeah, Put that back gone. up on your plate. Ugh. Everything just gonna fall Hot. apart. But that's what a good Philly cheesesteak does. It falls apart. And let me taste this chip. Mm. I don't think my family will like these though. Philly cheesesteak, guys. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm pull this up for you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Just mm -hmm. eat a little at a time. Um, save Nana some. And good to go. And we have extra meat in the kitchen if you want to eat some with some rice later on. And then I want to mix a glass mm -hmm. of this wine, y'all, so I can just do what I Woo. do because I've been cooking. And your girl is ready to unwind. So how's the Waxy Squad doing today? I hope y'all are doing well. We're doing good as always. Cheers. Today is actually Sunday. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. What I'm noticing is that with a tomahawk steak, you want to like walk, you want to like see, you want to marinate it like overnight, because it doesn't hold seasoning well. Like it, it the seasoning blends really quickly. Cause oh. I put a lot of seasoning in it, but you can't. It's not like strong. Like you can't really taste it, even though I put a whole lot of seasoning in it. Mmm. Okay. 
Like it's just gonna cook out? Yeah. But well, I don't know how. I don't know. I, mean, I think that maybe it's the, the kind of meat it is. You know? Mm. It might just be the kind of meat that it is. Mm. So, that's the tip, y'all, when y'all making tomahawk. Mm. Let it marinate for like three days or so. Mm. Let it marinate in the refrigerator. So that the flavors have time to. The seasoning have time to. Marinate. Cat juice. Mmm. Too good though. Too good though. Mm -mm. You don't taste my salt, do you? Right? Salt. Like you taste the flavor, but not my salt, huh? Uh, yeah, that's right. salt. Yeah. Wrench. That wrench? He wants that wrench over there. Who water is this for? Uh, hmm? Can I have some of the water? To put some, uh, I need to back to me. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's messy too, y'all. Hmm? It's juicy. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's juicy, so it's messy. I think I need extra napkin. Hot chips. Hmm? Hot chips. Everybody right there is bro. Mm -mm, yeah. mm. Get some more. Now, I did want to say something real quick, y'all. I noticed that mm. um bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no bread on the bottom. It must have just melted. It's on the bottom. It just probably melted. Oh really? Yeah. But um. Yeah. Yeah. It melted. Wow. It's down there. It just melt. It's right here. Wow. It's crazy though. There. Mm -mm. Right there. Here, brother. Yeah. Damn. Um, I was going to say, you guys, that I did notice that on our last video, like early on, like I looked at the video, it had like three, four thousand uh, uh, views already, three, four thousand views. And I went in the comment section and like literally like this is not even exact an exaggeration. It's not even an exaggeration. There was like 60, like maybe 30, I would say 40 to 60 comments, like really nasty comments, you know, like not even like. Okay, just okay. That's fine. It's what great. video? Hmm? What video is this? The video that we just did. Um. A short? No. What do you mean you eat with Anna just this past few days ago? Um. I don't remember what we ate. I remember. I don't remember either. But. I remember the comments because I was checking them yesterday. But I had to block like 60 people. Mm -mm. Yes. I did. Because majority of them were nasty comments towards me and my mom. And this really? all, yeah. And then they were huh? But what? I really, uh, to be completely honest, like at, like right on the top of my head, I don't remember, but I know that it was like, really? just nasty stuff. People mm -hmm. saying nasty stuff. Um, very disrespectful. That's right. Um, I need some of you guys to understand that if if you don't have a YouTube channel. If you don't have over 100,000 subscribers, if you don't show your face on social media, then you can't relate to what I'm saying. You can't relate to what I'm going through. So mm -hmm. I hate when people be like, just ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it. It's easy for you to say that because you're not in the position. Oh, so yeah. until you get in my position, meatloaf. okay, the meatloaf we did. Oh. Until you get in my position, you can't tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, and in my personal opinion, I think I do a very good job of rising above the drama, considering the load that I have to carry. You know what I'm saying? I do a very good job. 
but I did notice that and I just want to reiterate because I have a lot of new subscribers. I want to reiterate to the people that are new who don't know me, you know what I'm saying? Or don't know, don't know you, you know, you just seen, a, a, you know, any kind of video. And so like, you know, you just like, oh, I like this video or whatever, but I don't like this. And you're giving your, you call it an opinion, but it's, it's a very disrespectful opinion that could have stayed to yourself. I want you to know I'm not like other YouTubers, you know, um, that allow their their comment section to become extremely toxic where there's just very a lot of negativity oh. going and flowing in the comment section. I'm not like that. Okay? I'm not like that at all. You will get blocked. Okay? You'll have to create you will end up having to create multiple channel YouTube channels when it comes to me. You understand? Because I don't I don't allow that because my kids look at the video, my son watches the video, he looks in the comment section and my kids don't need to see that. They don't need to see negative and nasty comments about their parents. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now given some things I just can't control and they're just out of my out of my jurisdiction because it's just so many of you know sometimes you can't control because there's just so many. But when it comes to my videos, my YouTube videos, I like to make sure that I engage with my subscribers. I like to make sure that I engage in my comment section. That means a lot to me. And so I do engage with my comments. I may not be able to like them. I mean I might not be able to to um, comment, like respond to all of them, but I at least acknowledge them and like try to heart them. And a heart means a lot coming from me because I take the time to do it. There might be hundreds of comments on all kinds of videos, but I take the time to heart. So if I heart your comment, I have read it and I do appreciate you. That being said, I have, I'm, a, I'm not at a point to where I have no control over my comment section, meaning there's thousands of comments and I have, like, I just can't read them all. I'm not at that status just yet. And so, like, I'll get like 100 to 200 or 300. I can monitor that. And that being said, I do monitor it. And you will be blocked if you come in my comment section talking crazy or saying something that you wouldn't want nobody to say to you. You will get blocked. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to debate with you about what you said. I really don't care as far as um, debating with you. But if you come in my comment section with negativity being nasty, being dis just completely disrespectful, like just saying things you know you don't have to say, you're you're really not getting me upset. I'm really not getting upset. I'm really not at a point to where I'm about to, you know, you're about to run circles through my mind all day. No, I simply block you and remove you. So if you come to my page, you recognize, wow, my, I can't watch her videos anymore. It's because you probably said something nasty and I blocked you. I literally blocked like 60 people yesterday. And I all I did was free them up and make room for 60 more positive people to come in because that's exactly what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That That's actually what happens on the hour every hour. So that being said, I just want you to know that if you come over here trying to put your negativity in my in my comment section, it's not going to happen over here. You know, and if you've gotten through with a bunch of negativity in the past, consider yourself lucky. But if I ever see it, you will get blocked. And that's just that. If you want to make multiple pages, because you don't mind making multiple Google accounts, then go ahead. But each one is going to be blocked over here at Waxing with Donisha, period. So I'm just letting that yeah. be known. I used to debate and argue with people. I don't debate and argue no more. I didn't rose way above that. I'm just You're just going to get blocked. Sim simple. Simple. That's all. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You gotta be always somebody to say negative stuff. Right. Somebody ate it is. No. It's all over. Do what everybody who deal with social media, deal with YouTube, mm -hmm. Facebook. Instagram. They get all of those stuff, you know? Yeah. They go through all of that. It's everywhere. Everywhere. So, you get, we gotta be positive, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, and just move on. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. I don't waste my time arguing, just block. And I and and if, if if you're watching me right now, you have a YouTube channel and it's driving you crazy because you want to comment, you want to continue to do it, but you feel find it difficult because you're getting up, you just see a lot, you know, negativity in your comment section. And even if I had 200 negative comments, it still wouldn't be negative because I have thousands of people that watch our videos. If you had thousands of negative comments, then that'd be something to consider. Mm -hmm. 
but you you don't I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? The good always outweighs the bad on my channel, and I always know you know who who the people are. Anyways, I don't even need to go into into detail with that. But anyways, I just want people to know like don't let nobody overpower your channel. You worked hard for that channel. You know what I'm saying? You worked hard to keep it up. You worked hard to put the content out. You like you put that time, blood, sweat, and tears and money into it. So keep it professional and do what you have to handle yourself professionally and block negativity, period, point blank. Just block it and keep moving. You don't have to explain yourself. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. If you don't owe nobody no explanation, um, and I'm not the one that's going to argue with you. Yeah. Feel how you want to feel, just not over here. Like, figure it over there. Say what you want to say about me on your channel. Fine by me. But over here, if you're not going to be respectful, don't say nothing at all. Don't type nothing at all. Yeah, and that's just that. That's just how, that's my rule. That's just how I live my life now. And it works fine for me. And, I, and I'm and having a, a wonderful life. Yeah, just like. Wonderful life. Wonderful family. Yeah, just like, um. The comment we see about TD Jack, can I tell you about it? I yeah, don't that was, yeah, that was fake. Yeah, it was yeah. fake. Yeah, I gotta go. That was fake. No. Guys, this is, a, be, this is a real quick video because I actually have other things to do. I just wanted to come in and briefly address that and eat this and share this with y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And um, we will see you guys on the next video. Stay positive, stay safe. Mm -hmm. And um, Jesus loves you. We'll see you guys soon. Amen. Bye. Peace and love, guys. See you next time. If you like this video, subscribe, comment. And mm -hmm. you gotta be positive, bro. Elijah, oh, when you're done, call in and let her know where we already ate. Amen. So she can just come get her food and yeah. go. And be strong, everybody. Be strong. Don't let nobody get you down. <laughs>